Whew. Hello, my sisters and brothers in Christ. This is Shanika. I hope all is well with you and the Lord. Glory, 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 glory to Jesus Christ. Guys, this word right here is going to blow your mind. It's going to blow many of your minds. And it's, it, it, it's something that you hear all over the place. But the level in which the Lord gave this to me, I just felt a leaping in my spirit. And I know this word is going to bless many of you. It's not going to be for everybody, but it's going to be many of you that are going to receive this and you're going to be happy, 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 happy. And God showed me, he told me, it's ready. It's ready. It's ready. It's ready. Okay. And so, um, as I was thinking about that, guys, I was just smiling because I was reading, I read James 4, 3, and it says, when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. This verse came from something or a question that I had for God concerning something personal in my life about a previous venture. And this is the scripture that he gave me. And so as I was meditating on this for myself, I began to hear it's ready, it's ready, it's ready, it's ready, it's ready. And I said, Lord, what, 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 what? And he says, tell them that it is ready. Tell them it's ready. And so I said, well, God, how does that tie into this verse? And he says, well, the reason why it wasn't ready before is because it was a fleshly motivation. It was a fleshly motivation. And I was not going to get the glory out of it. Hallelujah. And so I began to ponder and the Holy Spirit began to speak to me about the story. God is saying that there are many of you that have tried to start ministries. You try to start a business. There's a hobby. There's something that you're really good at that you try to progress and move forward. There may be a nonprofit organization or something like that that you tried to start and it failed. It didn't work out. It didn't come into fruition. The, the provision was not provided. The support was not there. The atmosphere wasn't right. Okay, the timing was all off. God is saying the reason why he would not bless those things is because your motivation was wrong. And when I heard motivation, I went back and I said, yes, okay. So that's what God is saying. God is saying, tell them that it's ready now, but it wasn't ready then because the motivation was wrong. Many of you were idolizing the process of starting your business. Many of you were idolizing the money that will come from the venture, the money that will come. God is saying that many of you were seeking glory for yourself as it related to your ministry. You were trying to find out who was going to watch you, how many subscribers you were going to have, how many people. We're going to we're going to watch your videos. You know, how many people were going to come to your your gatherings and, 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 and to the things that you invited them to? God is saying that you put too much motivation. Hallelujah. In the fleshly outcome of the ministry, of the business, of the passion, of the hobby. And God is saying that now that you have come back. And you have given yourself to him and you have created this relationship. You have a closer relationship. You know how important it is to be in prayer, how, how important it is to be in the word of God. And you know, first and foremost, that you must seek the, the, the kingdom of God first and everything else will be added unto you, which is in Matthew 6.33. Now that you know that he must be first, he must get the glory and everything. God is saying that you are now ready. You are now ready to move forward in that ministry, to move forward in that business, to move forward in that idea, that hobby that you have, that thing that you're so good at. God is saying that he's going to bless it. Hallelujah. He's going to bless it because of where you come from. God is saying that you no longer idolize the world. You know, you, you no longer are idolizing your flesh. You are no longer idolizing what you are going to get out of it, but you're going to give him the glory. And because you're going to give him the glory wholeheartedly, he is more hallelujah than willing. He's more than happy to bless that desire of your heart. So I hear God saying, go back Pull that ministry back out of that book, off the computer. Pull that business idea off the notebook. God is saying that hobby, start practicing it again. Start doing that thing that you love to do. Because although it was godly in the past, it was not in right standing with God. God was not going to get the glory. But now that God is going to get the glory, hallelujah, God is saying that he's going to give you the desire of your heart. He's going to bless it. 
It's ready. God is saying, come back. It is ready. God says, come back. It is ready. God is saying to pull those things out of that closet from up under the bed, out of your pocketbook, out of your book bag, out of your drawer, out of your closet. All your notebooks, okay, your shoebox, hallelujah, off your computer, hallelujah, off your cell phone. God is saying to pull it all out. The things that you've written down and made it plain, God says, bring it back to the throne and he's going to bless it. He says he's going to give you the strategy. He's going to give you the order of steps that you need to take and he's going to provide the vision, but he's going to give you his vision and he's going to give you the provision, the provision. It's ready. God is saying, come to me and I will give you the desire of your heart. Your ministry is ready. That hobby is ready. That business is ready. God is saying it's ready because you have been made ready. Do you hear me? Glory to God. So listen, guys, that's all I have. Remember, I'm here on purpose. You're here on purpose. We are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I love, love, love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing this video with someone that you love or a friend of yours, okay? And I will be back soon, Lord willing. Bye.